this is going to be a cool ride. I want to uh, share it with, with each and every one of you as well as these guys sitting up here. It is uh, truly a blessing to be sitting up here um, in the company of greatness with these guys. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. After the newest four electees to the Baseball Hall of Fame were announced on Wednesday, Thursday was simply a day of celebration. Chipper Jones, Vladimir Guerrero, Trevor Hoffman, and Jim Tomey, surrounded by family and friends, all spoke about their excitement to be heading to Cooperstown. Braves legend Chipper Jones, the number one overall pick in the 1990 draft, certainly lived up to expectations, capping off his career as a first ballot Hall of Famer. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you know, everybody who had a hand in helping me get here, uh, all my my friends and family from the little town of Pearson, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, where I went to high school, and then uh, obviously a ton of people in the Braves organization in Atlanta. Vladimir Guerrero will become the first Hall of Famer to represent the Angels when he's enshrined in Cooperstown in July. This is not only about my small little town in Don Gregorio and Dominican Republic, it's about the whole country. And it's about celebrating Latin America. And to see that I did over 16 years of the big leagues makes me feel very privileged. Jim Tomey received 89.8% of the vote as he belted 612 homers in his career playing with six teams. He's one of only nine players to reach the 600 homer plateau. To be here today, I have to tell you, is a little surreal. You know, going to sleep. You know, I said to my wife, I'm a first ballot Hall of Famer. This is very, very special, and I don't take it for granted. So thank you so much. Last but not least, closer Trevor Hoffman. After coming up just a few votes shy of what was needed to make it last year, this time he got over the hump as he becomes the sixth reliever to enter the hall. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be up here today, and uh, as a closer, I'm going to try and keep it short. Thank you. <laughs> And a big-time trade went down on Thursday with the Marlins front and center yet again. MLB Network's Ken Rosenthal reporting that the Marlins have traded outfielder Christian Yelich to the Milwaukee Brewers in exchange for a quartet of prospects. Outfielders Lewis Brinson and Monty Harrison, infielder Isan Diaz, and right-handed pitcher Jordan Yamamoto. The 26-year-old Yelich hit 282 last season with 18 homers and 81 RBIs. He's under team control for the next five seasons. And the Brewers weren't done there as they've also reportedly reached a five-year, $80 million deal with free agent outfielder Lorenzo Cain. Cain has spent the last seven seasons with the Royals, batting 300 last year with 15 homers and 49 RBIs. On one hand, the Brewers added some pretty good outfielders. They have a ton of depth right now, but I think it also positioned them to really be active as we move forward. An interesting night. The bottom line is I think we can safely say that the rebuilding project in Milwaukee is over. And David Stearns and his baseball people feel like this club is ready to contend beginning in 2018. Finally, the Mets have come to terms with Jose Reyes on a one-year deal pending a physical. The 34-year-old played the last two seasons with the Mets, batting 246 with 15 homers and 24 steals in 2017. For more on these stories and complete hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.